I-4 Ultimate is going to totally transform the way we travel through Central Florida. The biggest part of that transformation will be the addition of express lanes in the center of the interstate. We're going to be adding four express lanes, two in each direction, and those will be lanes that folks can choose to use if they would like to. The express lanes on I-4 will be open to all vehicles except heavy trucks and tolls will be collected through your SunPass transponder or e-pass. Toll prices will vary depending on how many drivers are using the express lanes. Our goal is to maintain the speed in those lanes at 50 miles per hour. So if more people are getting in those lanes, we're actually going to raise the toll rate to discourage more people from getting into those lanes. So when you're driving down I-4 and maybe there's a lot of traffic and it's backed up, you'll see signs and they'll tell you, you know, how, what's the speed in those lanes, um, how fast can I get to where I need to go, and it might be worth a couple of bucks to, to hop into those lanes. Um, I know when I'm going to pick up my sons at daycare, it's $2 a minute if I'm late. So if I'm five minutes late, it's $10. Whereas if I can um, get there early, I just save myself $10 and maybe spend a couple bucks in tolls. The express lanes are going to offer people choices. You'll still have the general use lanes, the free lanes. So we're not taking anything away. We're adding something in the middle uh, that will offer people convenience and it'll offer them a little more guarantee on their time getting through the metro area. Express lanes have proven to be popular with state DOTs and drivers around the country, including here in Florida. They've already been put to use in southeast Florida. At the end of 2008, Miami-Dade County took congested HOV lanes on I-95 and converted them into express lanes. When 95 Express first opened up, the effect to the commuters almost immediately was better service. And ever since then, the volumes have increased, the speeds have remained pretty much the same. We are moving more vehicles, they are moving better. Uh, commuting is uh, doing, starting to do a little mode shift to transit, which is where we want to be going. So it, it basically has been a win-win and all the way around. Broward County opened the 595 Express in early 2014. Unlike I-4 Ultimate, the lanes on the 595 Express are reversible. They go eastbound in the morning, which is our primary direction uh, for commuters, and then they reverse them and they go westbound in the afternoon. With the express lanes, what we are trying to accomplish is provide the commuter the option to have a reliable commute, whether they're going to work or coming home from work. We've seen a tremendous decrease in the traffic congestion, not only uh, in the general purpose lanes in State Road 84, but now with the express lanes open. We're, even on day one, we had about 15,000 users we expect that volume of traffic using the express lanes, those long distance commuters to increase and that'll free up more additional capacity in the general purpose lanes which are toll free for those, those users that live in the intermediate points where they do not have access to the express lanes. I think when you look at the surveys of the express lanes, the public supports the express lanes mainly because they have a choice. They can use the general purpose lanes or they can use the express lanes. And it does help us manage congestion because those toll rates are variable. Well, I think the express lanes are great because there's so many times I'm running close and I have to be on time, especially for my work. So I'll take them just to make sure I get there on time. I really enjoy using the express lanes. If I have to get a contract out to Western from Fort Lauderdale, instead of taking 35, 45 minutes, now I can get there in less than 10. It's almost quicker than an email. If you look at your time, the cost of your time, your quality time, express lanes will get you there quicker. And then you can weigh that and see if that's your choice, if you want to use that for the day. For overall, for the future of transportation, express lanes is going to work for a lot of people.